James Held at Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. We're at Manchester City's training facility today with me, undefeated talent Mark Heffron. What's happening, Mark? How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. Good, yeah, good. Let's talk firstly a little bit about you joining Frank Warren Promotions and Box Nation. Yeah, um, I'm excited to be signing with Frank Warren and uh, fighting on the 8th of April. I'm looking forward to it. What can we expect from Mark Heffron? Looking at your box rig, you've got a pretty high KO ratio, to say yeah. the least. I'm um, just expecting to be using my jab, so you're yeah, using my head. Like in my other fights, I've been out and been in this look for the knockouts, and it's yeah. all changed now. That. Yeah. So you're going to box a little bit more? Yeah, I'm going to box. Do you anticipate 2017 being a big year for the Heffron? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 2017 will be one of the biggest years I've ever had. I'm looking yeah. forward to it, yeah. yeah. Straight away, you're on a massive, massive card. Terry Flanagan defending his WBL world title against Peter Petrov. Yeah. What chances do you give Terry of being successful? Um, yeah, definitely Terry will win, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Liam Williams versus Liam Smith as well on the card. Interesting matchup. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, good one. I probably, I probably have to favour Liam Williams on that one. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. What's, what's, the logic, what's the logic behind that, Mark? Um, it just, it just look, in my eyes, he's the better fighter. Hmm. Quite interesting that spoke about them two potentially getting it on for ages. So yeah. When when Liam had the British title, so it's great to see these fights materialising. Yeah. It's good. Uh, it's good to see 50-50 um, fights like that. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Mark Caffron. Tell us something that we may not know. Talk to us a little bit about yourself. Um, yeah, I've had, I've had 13 fights. Um, uh, I've had 11, 11 KOs. And. <laughs> I'm you've a got, bit nervous. I know you're fine, chill out. Yeah. You've got the second highest KO ratio behind Joshua as well. Yeah. Interesting enough. One of your team gave me that fact, so I hope that fact is correct. But <laughs> it must be nice to have that yeah. included on your resume. Yeah, it's good, yeah. What's going on with Ronnie Heffron then? Is he, are we um, going to see him back in the ring? He's just getting back in training now, yeah. yeah. Mm, hopefully he'll be back in sometime this year. Obviously, Ronnie Heffron fought Liam Williams as well, yeah. which is quite an interesting matchup. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good fight, but um, he got stopped in a cut. Is that why you sort of rate Williams, the fact that you saw him, saw him nah, against nah. Ronnie up close? No, nah, I just um, I rate him anyway as a fighter. He's, yeah. he's, good. he's a good fighter. Yeah. How do you think of the middleweight division as it sits at the moment in the UK domestically? Um, yeah, it's, it's going good, uh, middleweight at the minute. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to get in the mix. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt you want to impress on this card and show the promotional team that they should be yeah. pushing you. Yeah, well, I'm, I want, I'm definitely wanting the titles this year. Yeah. Who's on the, who's on your radar then? Who who, who you sort of who you targeting? Um, any of them, any any middleweight. <laughs> Trying to entice you to give me a name then. <laughs> <laughs> any of them that's got holding a title, I want yeah, any of them. Yeah, that's good. Where do you do the bulk of your training at, Mark? Pardon? Where do you do the bulk of your training at? Well, um, train at Collis and Moston with Pat Barrett. Okay. Yeah. Good gym, Collis and Moston. Some really good fighters there. Self Barrett, Lyndon. Yeah. Um, Sean Ben Mulligan as well. Yeah. Some good kids in there. Matthew Ryan. Matthew Ryan, yeah. Yeah, there's a, few, there's a few of us in there. Yeah. Is it good having a good head and crop of, of local boxers yeah, around good. the same age as yourself? Yeah, because we're always pushing each other and stuff. Yeah. Good crack, good banter in there? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Pat's a scary man, isn't he? <laughs> Pat's a scary fella. If he tells you to jump, you just basically just jump, don't <laughs> you? Of course. <laughs> All right, well, listen, I'm not going to take up too much of your time, mate. Yeah. Thanks for giving me a uh, little bit of a chat. We look forward to seeing you fight week. Thank you. Cheers, Mark.